When Minister Peter Gwang reached Buliana village in Namayumba sub-county in Wakiso district, the borehole in which government had supposedly used over 3 million shillings could not be found. The district water engineer instead showed the team a borehole in the neighboring Chidugala village, which has not been functioning for some time, but had only been repaired this morning ahead of the minister's visit. The border of Guyana and this village, just there. It's just there, just, it's just five millimeters. Yes. Let's go Because you've seen it right from morning, the first one we got the ghosts. And I'm happy you saw it for yourselves. At the construction site of Namayumba Town Council headquarters, the 52 million shillings that has been spent so far could not be accounted for. The town clerk was asked to help the State House and Corruption Unit with investigations into the alleged misuse of funds. Post government money is there, but for me as a, a person, I'm not satisfied with that work, and that's why I've requested that there's going to be an engineering audit. So, and they will give us a report whether the money that they've used is there is value for money. The minister had no kind words for leaders who said what he was doing was threatening their jobs. So I want you first to take away that kutisa tisa. Are, are we clear? No, I want first to put that clear. So if all monies must be accounted for, there is no way in Uganda where public money goes and it should not be accounted for. I want that to be made clear. Whether this is an historical place, we thank you for the peace you fought. You brought in a constitution which we are now operating. The monitoring team also visited Nashitokolo Health Centre 3, where government has spent 487 million shillings, but which Ogwang said was unsatisfactory. He questioned the district near Lydia Namtevi on the quality of the work. My no, home has, realistic. My, not a, a laughing subject, no, by no, the way. My home hmm? is not like this. Is this that government facilities must look like that? He queried the 115 million shillings which was to construct four classes at Chikandwa Primary School, where only three were built. Every shilling counts. I'm charged with ensuring uh, we, take, uh, we take seriously the issue of fraud in the government, abuse of office. I want to send a strong message to civil servants out there that you can no longer run at all bypasses. Now it's time you either do correct thing or get out. And I made that statement here, that it has reached a level where the revolution must go to a secondary part. The first one was primary. The secondary now, we must really get to know what has each penny done. The monitoring team continues in the Wakiso district tomorrow. Jumakiria, NTV.